Greetings guys, it's Irish here. Sorry, haven't been making much. Uh, I've been super busy with family and work and everything. My uh, household was sick this past weekend and I wanted to, you know, get uh, another video out before Christmas break, but I was unfortunately, I have not had much time to do that. So I just wanted to, um, hopefully I can get this out before uh, the new year but <clears throat> so this past year I have been on Dvorak and I have just try uh, just recently tried transitioning to Colmac uh, I did a whole video on that I, I could put that in the link description but there's one thing that uh, a lot of people who move to a different alternate layout use uh, which, uh, typing tests. Now some of the typing tests are like Type Racer and 10 Fast Finger. However, there is another one that I have come across, well, somewhat of one. Um, by the way, I stole this config from HexDSL, so just an FYI. Um, but this is uh, 10 Fast Finger, so it's just a one minute typing test and it gives you your score afterwards. However, I actually have a um, a pie hole on my setup and it blocks a lot of ads and videos and stuff like that. So if you go to that site right now, it may affect your score because it has to load all these ads and everything. There is a uh, see if I can uh, show you this to you there's a thing called uh, data gathered I, I forget what the, this plugin is but right here is the 10 fast finger and there's like a ton of stuff actually let me clear this out and just show you from a, a basic one here so we'll close tabs and reopen this. So now if we just go to a regular site, 10 fast finger. And now if we go to that one site, uh, which is right here. Now of course it's not going to show it. It has a bunch of stuff um, has a bunch of stuff that is attached to it and again like I said it does it's really hard to uh, figure something else out um, trying to find another one that's really good like 10 fast finger uh, there's another one that I actually go to which is called AOEU EU and it's another typing speed test but this is more specifically for Dvorak however I've been on the discord uh, for a good while now I don't have my own channel because I don't know if there's a lot of people that would be in there uh, I did have one in the past but there's like maybe five people so if many of you are interested just let me know um, but there was a gentleman in the Colmec, uh, one of the moderators, created, or forked I should say, a CLI version of the AOEU and the 10 Fast Finger. I'll show you what that looks like. Um, I actually have a alias, but here's the t uh, 10 Fast Finger for it, which is right here, and then you can just, you know, uh, do all this and it will tell you at the end uh, what it looks like. I'm just going to fast forward through this. I am on the Dvorak right now. Uh, I'll just actually do this. Uh, so yeah, he actually created this. Um, so it will tell you. Okay, I did 30 words per minute, uh, about 40% accuracy, seven words wrong. I got 18 correct. Uh, that's about 
give or take about how, what it tells you on the main website but if you notice there's no ads it's straight there in your terminal it's a lot simpler and now there's also one called the AOEU and these are roughly the words that you will see on that typing test and it will also input the same thing so it will say words per minute it will also give you the characters per minute or sorry per second give you your accuracy and your keys pressed so it is these are really good handy so if you guys are for those who are on Colmac and Dvorak and also on Linux uh, I, I would and do those two typing tests I would suggest doing it under in your terminal it's so much better than trying to wait for the page to load uh, and if you are actually there was a person in there who actually got it to work under Windows 10 through that uh, the Linux subsystem so you it is possible for you to make to get this work even if you're on Windows 10 so but I want to let you guys let you know that I'm still here I'm still gonna uh, work on I have been playing at work with uh, FreeBSD and I'm enjoying it immensely uh, I did have an issue with WeChat the last time I did it but I think I'm gonna give it another go again once again I have time so maybe after Christmas before the new year I should get a video out uh, moving to free BSD at least on my desktop I will try to keep Gen 2 on the laptop but there have been certain updates that have come that make me question why I should be on Gen 2 so we'll see how long I keep uh, Gen 2 on here I have been running it for about three years so I think I've got a good pretty good knowledge base on how Gen 2 is ran uh, I may go to uh, slack where uh, if FreeBSD works well I don't know if I would put it on the desk on the laptop because I do uh, play games on Steam and I do know that Robo Noogie has shown in one of his videos that you can get Steam to work under FreeBSD but I, I need to be more you know for sure so I would either have to figure out another Linux distro to be on maybe I would go back to Arch I don't know we'll see but I wanted to let you guys know what's been going on uh, to show you this uh, is really cool I will put the link or the way to add this uh, in your um, uh, in your system I will put it in the description below please let me know if I don't and hopefully you guys have a Merry Christmas and I will catch you guys in the next video